Hey, how's it going, Internet? Um, I've got one of these uh, iOmega external USB hard drives. This is an MD HD 10T U2. Uh, looking online, looks like the biggest problem with these is the power supply. There's a 5 and 12 volt line, and when I check with my meter, uh, the 12 volt was low. A lot of people replace these power supplies, but you can fix them quite easily. Uh, here's mine. The trick is to pry it open, of course. Um, you know, it's a little tricky. It's just like glued together. But if you look at my machine there, you'll be able to see uh, where you can pry safely, like right around the front, the plug. You can see there's a lot of clearance. Once you get it going, you just keep working along with a screwdriver and it'll come apart slowly. But you can see where to keep an eye, not to go too deep in there and damage stuff. This side's the best side to work on. Uh, when I opened it up, didn't even need a meter. Just saw two caps. I don't know if you can see this or not, but they're bulged on top. Um, that's an obvious indication that there's a problem with them. So I just replaced them. That's them right there and there. And voila, like three bucks for the parts, five bucks for the parts. Power supply is working again. And now I have a terabyte of external storage. This unit was given to me broken. I mean, you can go buy a power supply, but uh, if you're handy with tools and stuff, the trickiest thing was prying this open without damaging it. Um, comes apart really easy. The board just drops out, and you can solder very easily. So, anyways, if you're capable with a soldering iron and a screwdriver, save yourself some money and just change these two caps. Uh, I do believe they were what um, thousand microfarad at 16 volts. So anyways, these are cheap and you'll have your terabyte worth of storage back. So hope that helps with owners of iOmega external drives plus other units that use external power supplies. Take care, Internet.